is important to me. And I could not imagine not coming here. Walk in with people as they come. They need help with their bags, whatever. Some of them have help, some of them don't. Right? Just use your heads and just bring them all in and up to here. All right? This is telling you the rooms that you're in charge of, and I'm going to give you the rooms who are in these rooms now in a second in a kind of a patient care plan. Oh, do I get out? I get so much out of it, I can't even begin to tell you, to be honest. Perfect. Yeah. Rather than just give money, I thought I'd better get up off my backside and help. And that's what I did. What really blew me away was how friendly everybody is, how well every team works together, and just the goodness in everybody. Where are you coming from yourself? Uh, in the hospital. In the hospital, yeah. I give them the height of praise. To me, they're just special people. Uh -oh. By helping them as much as I can, I feel the better person for it. It was a pleasure for me because I've never been up in a plane. I would recommend anyone to, to come along and do it. It's, it's just a fantastic experience. You couldn't put a price on the work uh, that's done here. I've seen my colleagues give of service that you couldn't buy. And there's 98 young people here with us this year. The emphasis on service, and when you see what they're doing, this is really the gospel in action. How the young people, how they, they give of themselves in their service to others. And I would think if you were to ask them, they would say it's in the giving of themselves to others that they receive so much. And I think that is somehow at the very heart of this place. It's at the very heart of the service to others. Some of the people here have been going for five, six years and the bonds they have with some of the patients, they're nearly crying when they come back each year. And it's just, it's something that I'd like to experience again and again. I am the Chief of Brancardiers for the pilgrimage. The name is linked back to the French word for stretcher, which is a brancard. So originally, uh, those who helped here in Lourdes were people who lifted stretchers and brought people to the baths in those very early days. During our time in Lourdes, we are responsible for all of the movements that the pilgrimage takes. So wherever it goes, I mean, there's 122 with us this year. So, you know, we have to move 122 people to any service that we're going to go to. First thing in the morning we will come down and we will help to get the guests up and changed and ready. And then with the help of the youth service as well, we get them into the dining room for their breakfast. The handmaids then start cleaning the rooms, washing them, fixing the beds up. And then there's another group of them in the dining room serving up the meals. And that goes on continuous throughout the day for all the meals that they have three times a day. You really feel appreciated and that you're, you know you're wanted and that you're doing something good and five days to give up out of your normal life isn't much at all when there's 365 days in a year and at the end of it all you go home tired but you feel so much better for coming here and doing it. We did training so that we'd know how to properly push a wheelchair, be able to talk to the patients so they're as comfortable as possible and then today we brought them over to the St Bernadette Church and we had a mass there, opening mass of the Oblitz pilgrimage. Then we went over and we got the group photograph taken outside the church. You would work with the same guest every morning and that experience helped you to become very, very close to that particular person that you were caring for. They were putting themselves at your mercy, they were trusting you, so you felt a great responsibility towards this person as well. So that really added to my experience of Lourdes. Everybody is just so nice. We all get on like a house on fire. It's amazing how everybody can just pull together. Everybody is just there for everybody.
These people who come and work with the sick and the invisible are all volunteers who pay their own fares out and give up their vacation to do this work. All of us dedicate ourselves to looking after the sick for those five days. You know, it's amazing that for most of us we never get together again in the year. Life moves on and some people don't come back next year. And it's that saying goodbye. You kind of want to see everybody here again in 12 months time. It's an incredible experience and year after year I just keep coming back to Lourdes. I'd be lost without it. <laughs> I used to come to enjoy the experience of being with young people and also to be with the older people but now it's about being in Lourdes and it's nice to be talking to young people and having fun with them but it's more about Lourdes. It's the best thing you could ever do. It's the best opportunity you could ever be given. You're walking away feeling, I got more out of that than anybody else.